need to be... Yeah. Let's fish in spot real quick. Please don't tell me it's another it's defend no and they've updated their security software. This would be so much easier if they were idiots. Will it take much longer? No, it won't. Because this time we can use our ship's main computer. Decryption complete. We can now override the facility's transporter. Wow! Can you send us to the third basement floor? The one with the gigantic terminal? You know it. Three floors down, you say? That shouldn't be a problem. Energizing. to say this, but it looks as if this terminal doesn't contain any information on Theria. It makes sense they pull a stunt like this, considering the entrance and security system is reprogrammed as well. Well then, should we try to search for another terminal or something? There are definitely rooms we haven't checked yet, so if we search them all high and low, then... What a warm reception. Ah, we should go where all these enemies are. I know she's being held captive. We're saying they're constantly. Yes, exactly. Just no. We just have an important plot detail in the middle of a boss fight where you can't hear it. Are you? I'm Rafine, the curator of the biological specimen wing here. Please follow me. I'll take you to the girl you seek. Wait, why would someone like you cooperate with us? Because I deemed you formidable. Formidable? Not a single one of the researchers in this division are working here of their own accord, including me. We've had enough. We simply can't involve those two any longer. The issue, however, is that releasing them solves nothing. They will continue to be sought out by one party or another. They must be protected from both Kronos and the Federation. Come this way, please. This could be a trap. Stay vigilant. These animals are all corrupted. So you are the ones who did this. Yes, as one aspect of our research. Why are there security drones here? They aren't authorized to patrol this section. It's time to fight fire with fire. Attack! There's no time to fear. Let's 
two Xeno. Destinations beyond the store. Okay, that's big. For me, then I'll just kite it. Do everything in your power to aid Fidel. difficult, but I am a little bit over leveled, so numbers. So what next? Are you all right? Don't push yourself. I'm okay. We're safe. And it's all thanks to you, Relia. <laughs> Look. General Alma. It's Feria! It's Feria! General Alma, Director. Is it safe to assume this is all going according to plan for you? <laughs> I must say, I did not expect you to turn traitor on us, Rafid. How unfortunate. Get back, ma'am. Your life is in danger. <sighs> I see you took Relia from us, as I knew you would. 
Otherwise, you'd hardly be worthy of the Kenny name. Why don't I take Faria as well? Such a loud bark for a small runt. I am Thoris, the one and only director of this fine laboratory. Thanks to your tireless efforts, I have collected some truly superlative data. It somehow escaped me that activating space-time symbology catalyzes the release of certain hormones. But you, Fidel was it, kindly brought it to my attention. All this was for space-time symbology? I brought it to your attention? What's that mean? In other words, they knew full well that we'd save Relia from that Kronos battleship. Not only that, they wanted us to do it. Then, during that last fight, they monitored Relia's biological responses closely. Thus, they effectively measured certain changes that occur when she employs symbology. Very keen of you to grasp the situation. You're saying you used a whole ship's crew as bait for us? And it has all worked out as I planned. We only possess two units at the moment. But once we are able to mass produce them, the information we collected from your endeavors with her will certainly be useful to our cause. Mass produce? You use this place to craft endless numbers of people? Do you even understand what life is? <laughs> of all the ludicrous. <laughs> May we all meet again in the near future. Hand over Feria! If we're gonna go after General Alma, we'll need our ship. Let's hurry. Mom! Dad! What was that? <laughs> really? Uh, thank heavens you're alive and well. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Kristoff, one of the researchers here. Are you really his dad? Well, her father figure. Now that you've shown yourself, I take it we can expect some answers vis-a-vis -vis this place? Our symbometric technology far eclipses that of the Federations. As part of that, the research we conducted here was on the ultimate script. Symbols that can physically manipulate the fabric of space and time. Space-time symbols? As I'm sure you are well aware, the Pangalactic Federation appeared before Kronos 16 years ago by the Space Day calendar. In order to combat their overwhelming military might, we embarked upon large-scale research to test the feasibility of using space-time symbols to turn life forms into weapons. Then, in Space Date 526, we were coerced by the Federation into approving the CFNZ. Coerced? I don't think so. In order to preserve the peace between our organizations, we had to establish mutually agreed upon terms before approving it. As a universal power, you can rationalize it that way. As the weaker party, though, we had no choice but to submit to those terms. We manufactured countless test subjects, but only succeeded at applying symbols to two of them, Relia and Feria. Those poor things. The military hawks quickly latched their talons onto exploiting these space-time symboforms. They set up facilities here on Fakreed and forced us to modify the local fauna. The next step was to release those symboforms into the wild. Up until that point, we had conducted our research clandestinely. Then, we received an order from them to pit our subjects against the natives for the sake of gathering data. They told us all this was imperative in order to defend ourselves against the Federation. So, in other words, you're saying everything that transpired here is the Federation's fault? Only that it was the impetus. We simply wanted to conduct our research in peace. Don't make me laugh. Treating a planet's population like lab rats is hardly peaceful. I know. It was difficult for us, too. We couldn't expose Relia to this travesty any longer, so we helped her escape aboard a shuttle. So, the metal thing that fell in the Dakar footpath was your shuttle? It was, indeed. Sadly, Thoris was apprised of our plan and had the thing shot down once it launched. 
Now, in order to unleash Faria's full potential, they plan on using the data they collected from the trials you've overcome with Relia. It seems that the Federation's appearance here has put General Alma on edge. I apologize for the impertinence of this request, but please, free Relia and Faria from their fate as instruments of war. With this card, you should be able to enter an edifice known on this planet as the Cygna Silica. Cygna Silica? Once you track its hallowed halls and reach the shrine within its deepest recesses, you will understand why we chose this planet as our laboratory. Do you have any idea where General Alma might have gone? I see. Well, I appreciate the other info. Let's move out. Relia. It's time to say goodbye, Relia. Huh? I'm afraid we can't go with you, honey. Why not? I get it. Now that the Federation knows of this facility, it won't be long before it's destroyed. There is nothing more we can do on our end. Take good care of Relia and Faria for us. Mom. Farewell, my dear Relia. Relia! Anne, prepare us for transport. Aye, aye, Captain. at the far north part. Let's see if there's new stuff to wear. Is that answer is no. Here. Sorry. Okay, I'll go straight to the to the plains and head north. you back, sir. Thanks. And the general's whereabouts? We've maximized our ultra-long-range sensor's output in search of it. In search of, huh? So you still haven't managed to find it? I'm afraid not, sir. Huh. That doesn't bode well. I'd say the planetoid where we fought that other ship would be a good start. But their territory is so incredibly vast. Hopefully we can find at least some sort of clue as to their whereabouts. Don't give up just yet. 
He won't. Oh my! Oh my! Why just this spot? Do you know why there's no data for this one area? No readings? How? Captain, could you please come take a look at this? Did you find anything? I tried scanning the Cygnus Silica, but see for yourself. What the? That's definitely odd. Could it be another Kronos facility? The only explanation is that it blocks every single type and frequency of wave with which we could scan it. Such technology shouldn't even exist on this planet. Shields with this much range shouldn't exist anywhere in the Federation, let alone this planet. Well, not like running our mouths more will solve anything. Let's check it out. I agree. Besides, it's gonna take some time to find General Alma in that celestial haystack. As long as this shield is in operation, there's no hope of us transporting directly to its location. Although, even if we could, the structure itself also appears to hinder transport. Can buildings even do stuff like that? I guess that's life's way of telling me I need more exercise. Anyway, let's just beam down somewhere nearby. We can search on foot from there. Yes, sir. Get ready, ladies and gents. Next stop, Cygnus Silica. Go check it out. Whoops. I, I just saved. I don't want to see what level Fatal is. Seventy four. Okay. Yeah, we should be good. 